Hey everyone. So in my last video I talked about the drawing funk I've been in lately. <laughs> I haven't been able to sketch much for fun for several months because it's just gotten, I've gotten out of the routine of sketching. Uh, you know, when you draw eight hours a day, sometimes you come home and you just don't want to sketch. <laughs> but I can't do that anymore. I got to get out of this funk. Um, and in the past what I did to get out of that was I turned it into a game. And I think that's a good idea for this time around. So this is a moleskin sketchbook. You can buy them three packs for like 12 bucks. It's a small one, it's only about 100 pages. Uh, I'm gonna fill up this entire sketchbook today and you're gonna go with me while I do it. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go on a little bit of a sketch crawl and make four different stops in four hours and see how many sketches I can get done. And the rules for it is you gotta keep it loose, keep it fast. Uh, the goal is not to do pretty drawings, it's to do really crappy drawings just to get your hand moving again. So let's get to it. If you've never been on a sketch crawl, there's not a lot to it. It's basically picking a series of spots to go and sketch to. Because uh, it's never really comfortable sitting in one place drawing for hours on an end. And uh, a lot of times the business doesn't like you being there for hours on end. So I'm in Glendale for my first couple stops. First stop is lunch. <laughs> Well, I'm back. It was a good little sketch adventure. Uh, I got quite a bit of drawing done. Probably filled up, I think I filled up about two thirds of the sketchbook. Uh, I'm gonna try and finish it up in the morning. See if I can squeeze it in under 24 hours, filling up a whole book. <laughs> but it was fun. It was, I feel a lot better about drawing. I feel a lot better just in general, cause it's been, ugh, it's been a slog just trying to feel creative the last few months. So, yeah, sometimes you just got to get out and make yourself do it. And it was cool. I got to run into, I ran into a few subscribers, actually, two different times. I ran into people that follow my channel and came up to say hi, to saw my sketching, and I was like, oh, <laughs> it was pretty awesome. And I uh, ran into a guy named Randall, who was drawing comics at the Barnes & Noble there at the mall, and talked to him for a little bit. Um, he's not a fan yet, at least, but it was cool meeting him. It was nice. It's good getting out of the house and doing some drawing. I know I'm not the only one that gets stuck, you know, not feeling inspired, not feeling motivated. Um, so I wanted to make this video kind of showing how I how I deal with it, you know, and I kind of wish I'd done it a few months ago, but it's just been busy. Life's been busy. I had a baby. <laughs> He's about six weeks old now, and... Uh, just the last two months have been a whirlwind. It's been all a blur. 
the last few weeks before Amber, before the baby came, before Amber went into labor, it was just getting the house ready, and uh, we were in deadline mode on the the uh, shows that we were working on at Warner Brothers. But I think it's more to it than that. Um, there's something about, like, in Texas, it was easy to kind of fool myself into thinking that I was really, really good, you know, like, <laughs> that I was better than I actually was. Not that I'm not bad. I don't want to knock it at all, but... When you get into an environment where you're working with other professionals that have been doing it for 30 years, 20 or 30 years, and they are just really good, like top of the line, best at what they do, like it's a little intimidating. And when you meet so many of them, like I, you know, I, I tested for um, a new Justice League show a couple months ago, and. I uh, got to tour the little offices where they make the Justice League and all the other DC superhero stuff. And uh, I knew a couple of the guys from my YouTube channel. They they were fans of it, and we talked in the halls and stuff. And just getting to see their work up close, like, uh, I can't even imagine being that good. Uh, and in the background artists that work on, you know, the Looney Tunes stuff and, and Wabbit and even the backgrounds on Jetsons, these guys are just phenomenally talented. And it's because they've devoted their whole life to it. And for me, I, I've never really, I just dabble. I try different things that I'm interested in. I try comic books and I tried you know, caricatures and I've tried illustration. I've tried cartooning and, and now animation. And I'm just, that's what gets me excited is getting to explore new mediums and getting to explore new techniques and, and trying to, do my best to get good at them but I've never sat down and just mastered one technique like some of these guys have and um, so being around that the last few months I, can, I think it's kind of like weighed me down a little bit and I've sort of forgotten who I was and how I draw and I've lost my identity and part of that comes from having to draw on a house style trying to match other people's style especially a style of like Scooby-Doo that's been around for, you know, 40 years, <laughs> trying to draw exactly like that, you kind of forget your your own techniques because you've got to scrub it out so that you can make it look exactly the way that they want it to. And, there, you know, it's a double-edged sword because you, you, you want to get good at enough at it that you can get more work, but you also don't want to lose yourself. And I've kind of, for a while now, I've kind of felt like I'm losing myself, losing my own artistic identity and getting out and just sketching and not giving myself time to to get bogged down and you know and thinking it's not right just cranking out sketches bad sketches and and just trying to make it fun again I, I think I've needed that for a while and it's really there's only there's three reasons why we get stuck mentally we get creative blocks and you know what be easier if i just showed it to you so when people ask me when did i start drawing uh, i'm always confused by that question because to me the first thing that comes to mind is when was when did you stop drawing because <laughs> it seems like everybody draws when they're a kid and it's just you stop drawing at some point but when you're a kid, you have no problem drawing trees or, or your parents or, you know, a fire truck or the dog or cat or whatever. It may not look good, but you don't know it as a kid, so you have no problem drawing it. But at some point, we get stuck because we start to see our mistakes. You start to recognize that your art isn't as good as somebody else's art or that you're just not able to draw what you see it doesn't come out you know the way you see it and so you get frustrated and you quit and so that's the first area that we start to get stuck as uh, artists and give up is we go from being able to just draw to getting frustrated because we can't draw what we see and but at some people most people that are artists that stick with it, they eventually get good enough that they can draw what they see. Uh, but then quite a few of us, we get pretty good at drawing what we see, but then we get frustrated because we can't draw from our own imaginations. 
Uh, and so we get stuck in our head. We get stuck because what we want to come out isn't quite what's coming out. And so that's the third place that we get stuck. If you're stuck there, I have a video on how to draw from reference that'll help you with taking from being able to draw what you see to drawing from your imagination. And I'll put a link here. So the solution is to go from one of these three, figuring out where you're stuck. If you're stuck drawing and it's not coming out the way that you, you see it, then practice just visual, practice looking. Just draw what's in front of you. Draw a pen, draw you know a phone, or draw your lamp, or draw your desk, or draw your coffee cup, and you just draw. You just get your, you know, observe. Practice your powers of observation. And if you're stuck in your head, the best way to get out of it is to just get your hand moving. Start drawing like you're a kid again. You keep it moving. This is where I've been stuck the last few months is just stuck in my head. And the only way to get out of it was what I did today, which is just go out and sketch and just get my pen moving, go out and observe, just draw what I see, don't think, just stay out of this area and just do one of these other two. But if you're stuck in one of these other areas, you, you focus on this, just keep your hand moving, draw from your imagination, and that'll help you get away from you're just it has to look right it has to look right it has to look right and if you've got all three of these going you've got you can draw what you see draw really well you can draw from your imagination you have no problem being productive and just keeping your pen moving but you still aren't feeling it your heart's not in it it's because you're doing it for the wrong reasons usually it's because you want some sort of career goal or financial goal or some sort of respect. I don't know. But something, your heart isn't in it. And that's a more complicated issue. You have to dig deeper and figure out, what do I really want? Why am I really doing all this stuff? And get back to, when you're a little kid, why you do it, did it to begin with and get back to having fun with it. And this whole thing isn't from me. I've picked it up over the years from talking with other artists much more wise than I am. <laughs> but I thought I'd share it here because it's been it's poignant to what I've been going through lately. But so this is a sketchbook that I just filled up. Um, you know, they're, they're not too bad. Some are, you know, especially these early ones are pretty loose. And I did it all with brush pen, um, just because I've been, I don't know. I like to keep it simple when I'm trying to get back, get back to focus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy was at uh, Burns & Noble's in the coffee shop, and I overheard him uh I guess recruiting two guys to work with him at a grow house for <laughs> marijuana slash reality TV show where they have uh, tweakers on the show. And uh, yeah, so I just randomly, I wrote down all the random things that he's talked about and it was one of the most insane conversations I've ever heard. Uh, there's a few back here. I like this guy right here. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of them. I think I'm going to do uh, the security guard in my next people sketching video. I think I'm going to redraw him <laughs> and uh, see if I can really punch up his character design. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But um, I'm actually going to scan this and put it up as a PDF if anybody wants to download the sketchbook. Um, I'm going to put it up as pay what you want. So you don't have to donate because I know how broke artists usually are, <laughs> but uh, it would help if you do make a donation, whatever you think it's worth. Uh, if you can't donate, uh, just go ahead and share the videos and tell people that you appreciated it. Uh, and I, I'll, I'm only going to put it up for pay what you want for about a month because I found last time I did pay what you want, uh, after about a month, the, there was like no donations. So I'll put it up for about 99 cents after that if anybody's still interested, if you're watching this video like a year from now or whatever.
Well, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed going on the sketch crawl with me. Uh, I wish I could have videotaped more. I don't know. I already spent too much time video. I probably could have finished the whole sketchbook today if I wasn't spending all this time recording video. Uh, but it was fun, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll try and do more stuff like this in the future because it was fun. I really, I really liked it. Normally, when I go on a sketch crawl, I don't like going by myself. It's something that's, it's a social social thing. It's something you want to do with other people. And I really like. Amber asked if she could go with me, and I was like, I, I really need to film and <laughs> make sure I focus. Uh, so we might do, we might try doing one with Amber and Emmett and I, and see how that goes. Uh, or maybe even open it up to people in Burbank if you want to meet up for a sketch crawl or something or other. Let me know. Leave a note in the comments if it's something you're interested in. Um, but yeah, I hope this video helped. If you get stuck in your creative roadblocks, maybe there's just some tips to help you get through it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, keep smiling. <laughs>